Hey, what's up guys? It's Iron Lava here, back playing some more Clash Royale. And today I have a couple of replays to show you guys. <clears throat> They're all pretty awesome, and uh, we're going to jump into the first one right now. Alright guys, in this replay we are up against a guy named Gazfra. He's using a Valkyrie, Hog, and Musketeer push deck. And what he doesn't know is that my deck is very, very good at countering a Valkyrie, a Hog, and a Musketeer. So we're going to jump in, we're going to play our uh, Spear Goblins as well as my Hog Rider. We're going to take that tower all the way down to, let's see here, 580 health. That's crazy, okay? So uh, I'm thinking about dropping my Fireball, but I did wait until this Valkyrie was played. So I dropped it right now. Uh, shot off that Valkyrie as well. But now, he has a Valkyrie, a Musketeer, and he's about to play his Hog Rider. But look what's about to happen. Hold on, hold on, stop. Let's do this in, let's do this in half speed, guys, just so you can see this madness. His Hog Rider is currently behind his Valkyrie, okay? He wants his Valkyrie in front, but watch what's about to happen. When his Hog Rider goes to jump, he jumps over the Valkyrie. And that messes him up, okay? So I counter everything there. Everything's about to die. <coughs> Ooh. Okay, so drops the poison spell, which slows down my musketeer perfectly. So I can drop my hog ladder right there. Now this tower is about to go down because he dropped that cannon. Got like two shot by my musketeer. Okay, uh, he just got destroyed. So he got shut down just now, guys. He got shut down by my amazing defense. The bomb tower is super good. As well as my musketeer did some serious work to that Valkyrie. Uh, now we're gonna do it once again. So he's going for the same push except without his Valkyrie, which is a mis or without his uh, musketeer, which is a huge mistake for him. We're gonna go ahead and kill that hog rider. Now, guys, I'm pretty sure at this point he gave up because watch what's about to happen. I'm gonna go for a huge push down the left hand side for his king tower because I'll, now I know there's only three cards of those three. They can't stop this, guys. So we're going to go ahead. We're going to zap his tower. And we're going to take it out, guys. Because he definitely just gave up. And I think that was pretty awesome. So I'm going to jump into one more replay with you guys. I actually did this next replay on a live raid. But the uh, audio was very, very bad and crackly and stuff. So I'm going to show you guys it right now. Okay, we are up against this guy. I don't know how to pronounce the name. He's actually not in a clan. And as you guys can probably tell, he's using a uh, Royal Giant as well as a Hog Rider. So he has two things that go straight for buildings, okay? He drops his Hog Rider. I'm going to drop my Bomb Tower because I don't want his Hog Rider and his Fire Spirits doing massive work to my tower. He's going to drop his Barbarians. I'm going to go ahead and play a Fireball. But I'm going to play this Fireball way too late. Now, during the live raid, I was saying, okay, my Bomb Tower is actually going to be uh, taking out those Barbarians. But no. He goes for the one Barbarian instead of the two that are killing my tower. And actually, right before this replay, I upgraded my Spirit Goblins to level 9. So I'm just saying, yeah, we're dropping them for the first time. They're doing some work on the tower. I'm going to go ahead and fireball that Musketeer, not knowing he had a Royal Giant yet. Now check this out. He has a level 10 Royal Giant. He has a level freaking, he has a level 10 Royal Giant, okay? He's a level 8, which is crazy. Now I'm gonna play my Musketeer and my Hog Rider. I'm gonna go for this tower. He has an Inferno Tower, guys. So after we play that Inferno Tower, I was thinking to myself, okay, I am seriously so screwed. Because my deck does not do well with Inferno Towers. But we did take his tower all the way down to 380. And this guy is super confident now in being all like that. Uh, and this guy's actually a pretty good player, as you can tell. He probably knows exactly what he's doing. He places a hog rider. So I'm now he probably just wanted to bait out my bomb tower. Uh, which is really good, guys. Like, I mean, this guy is good. I'm giving him that. So uh, he's gonna play his musketeer. I'm gonna try to think of what to do here because I know he's about to play his royal giant. But he actually doesn't play his royal giant, guys. He thinks he's gonna just take my tower out. I'm gonna play my uh. One elixir skeletons here. He'll play his barbarians to counter my musketeer. I'm sure of it. Yep. So uh, yeah, and there goes his inferno tower. So my musketeer isn't gonna do anything. I fireball his barbarians. Uh, so yeah. Oh, okay. 
Alright. It's very early, guys. I'm not an early morning person. <laughs> I'm actually recording this right before I go out of town. So you guys aren't going to get a video this weekend. But I'll be sure to make lots next weekend. Or next week, I should say. Okay. Sorry. Okay, so we're back into the replay. Alright. Uh, he drops a musketeer. His tower's down to 80 and mine's at 322. He hasn't played his royal giant in like 30 seconds, but now he's going to play it once again. He'll go ahead and take out my tower right now, guys. Wow, okay. Not much I can do about that, so I'm going to go ahead and fireball his tower. That's where it gets crazy. Check it out. Full health royal giant level 10. Full health uh, musketeer he just dropped. His hog is going on my tower. I'm trying to defend, which is... I don't know how smart that is, guys. If I would have just gone up for the left hand side, he probably would have three crumb me. He jumps to second level 10 Royal Giant. I'm gonna zap all that so that they target my bottom tower. He drops his hog rider, guys. I'm thinking, okay, this guy's screwed. He's gonna three crumb me, okay? But watch. I actually go and defend all of that. My tower's down to freaking 28. He gives me a cry face. He knows he's gonna win. Guys, he's mocking me right now. Look at this madness. My tower's down to freaking 28. Are you kidding? Hog Rider down with my musketeer. I'm in one of the skeletons. Just case just in front of the tower. I'm gonna go ahead and zap all of that. And look at this, guys. We are gonna go ahead. We are gonna th win. He is crying, guys. He's thinking about what to do. He doesn't know what to do. He drops the barbarian trying to save it, but no. We are going to shut the guy down. What? We just shut him down. He is trying to be all cocky. Not gonna happen. Um, he's trying to join my clan. What the frick? No way. I just recorded it too. Guys, he's legit trying to join my clan. <coughs> what? Should I, should I accept him? Oh my god. Alright guys, that's what we're about to say. Hopefully this dude gets accepted. I, I'm gonna try to make a video once he joins our clan to see what he says. Oh my god, okay, should I, did I make TV URL? Shoot, I didn't make TV URL again. How did we not make TV URL with that? Okay guys, so I, hopefully, maybe I'll see you guys this weekend. If not, first thing Monday, I will be making a video. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace.